Today I'm going to be working with this Dollar Tree chick from the dollar store. It's already white and I'm going to be using this napkin that I picked up at the Christmas tree shop, uh, the Christmas tree store here in New York and I'm going to be re removing the back plies of the napkin. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two and with a really good napkin sometimes there's three. Using a razor blade on just the edge of the napkin does help to get these plies off and I'm going to start by having some saran wrap available an art brush and my one hour enamel clear. You most certainly can use Mod Podge. Um, I find Mod Podge is a little thicker. That's the difference. And I feel like um, laying the napkin down, using the saran wrap and a brayer, you need to move quite quickly using the Mod Podge, but it most certainly works. Once I lay my napkin down, I'm gonna take my saran wrap and you can move some of the wrinkles out with your finger. You don't want to rub the saran wrap back and forth. This brayer works wonderfully. You can find that at chalkitupfancy.com. Um, it just gets the wrinkles out really quickly. And then you're going to go to the bottom half and do the same application. You do want to use a liberal amount of the one hour enamel clear. And you, the brayer just helps make sure that your paper made full contact with your project and then you know that you have, um, you're not going to get any lifting. Now the napkin wasn't big enough to go down to his feet, so I'm just going to cut off some of the excess on the side with a pair of scissors. And I'm going to take the yellow portion of the napkin and do the same application on the bottom of the feet. Napkins are so thin that you don't even see the seam. You can't even tell that I did uh, add this. At this point, you want to add another coat of your one hour enamel clear or your Mod Podge. I didn't show it in the video just to save time. And then you're going to cut off any excess napkin. Once everything dries, usually takes a few hours or overnight, you're going to take sandpaper and you're going to rub it along the edges of your check and it's going to release the excess paper. Guys, we are going to have a kit available. Go to chalkitupfancy.com if you're interested. I'm going to take my uh, Sharpie here and I'm going to make an upside, I'm going to make a smile and add some lashes for the eye. Then I'm going to take this little uh, crate box, I also got this at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to paint it white using Snow Owl by Wise Owl. And then I'm going to paint the chick white just to get a nice base coat. And this is a smaller chick also from the dollar store. I'm going to take some E6000 and some hot glue and glue it to the inside of the box by the feet. I like to put the E6000 down, a little bit of hot glue just to hold it temporarily while the E6000 dries. I took the chick and then I just added some Higgins Lake and then sanded it after it dried just to give this distressed um, look. It kind of goes down to the white a little bit. And then this one I did an upside down smile with the lashes and I glued the small chick to the front of the box. Again using E6000 and some hot glue. Most of these items can be found at the dollar store. We did create a kit for those that can't find these items in their local places. And I just added a buffalo check ribbon to where the hanging holes were. And then you can fill your box with either candy or I just threw in some grass and some um, eggs that I also picked up at the Dollar Tree. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. If you're interested in the kit, chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.